All right, boys, it is about 3.30 in the morning and we're about to hit the road. 14 hours, 900 miles. We got Wi-Fi everywhere. Fourteen and a half hours of straight driving later, we are officially in Indiana. I'm in Indiana right now for a drift con. If you guys didn't hear me talk about this all freaking week, we are here in Indiana for the Riverside Drift 50K Summer Showdown Joe's versus Pro's Drift Event. <laughs> Whole title. Uh, this is my first like real drift competition. I'm nervous. I got bullied into it by Justin Medina. I'm calling you out. That's the reason why I'm here. And uh, LZ's driving, Taylor's driving. There's a bunch of Pro FT drivers. There's a bunch of really talented drifters out there in really crazy cars. And I'm here with my coupe. And uh, it's going to be a great experience. I'm really excited. I'm so tired. So, uh, Indiana. This is my first time in Indiana. Um, the B-roll was probably not that interesting because this entire drive was not that interesting. It was like the same just like grass or cornfields the entire way. <laughs> In Indiana, I don't know what it is. First off, there's no two-story houses. Freaks me out. Why? Everyone's got corn in their backyard. And two, there's like a new edge Mustang in everyone's garage. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen, but I'm exhausted. <laughs> I gotta pee so bad, so let's go and see what our fancy Hampton Hotel looks like. One thing I can guarantee is they definitely sell ethanol around here. They grow too much damn corn not to sell ethanol around here. Oh, Indiana. Interesting. Fancy. Nice. Well, it's not gross, so that's sick. I've been getting a lot of gross hotels lately, so this is a really big win. <laughs> Good morning. Doesn't work. Next day, feel like a human again, which is good. So, today's Thursday. Technically, tomorrow's practice, which means it's a private day for a couple people. I actually don't know anything about it, but it's a private day on a different track at the same facility. It's smaller, so it's not like any leg up because we don't get to test out the competing track today. Uh, but I get to test out my car, um, play around with the alignment, figure out what the heck is good, hang out with the homies and just have a good day. So I'm actually really excited for today. So so we're off to Salem Speedway to start the day and we're in this hole that has no Dunkin' Donuts for miles. We're 23 miles near the closest Dunkin' Donuts. This is a tragedy. <laughs> Indiana, all of it. <laughs> As far as the eye can see. Corn. Salem Speedway, brought to you by Budweiser. Love that. And I missed the entrance. God. Dude. What's up? Cricket. Yeah, you missed us. Donnie. So we were sending we flags. I was like filming and then I realized. I <laughs> What's up, boys? Why are you always where I am? Why are you in Indiana? Uh, you I love the fact home. that you are here before everybody else. Yeah, that that's was, dedication. There you go, baby. Look at all the link banners. Though. That's super cool. Yeah, it is. That place is actually pretty cool up there. I think somebody lives. It's up like there. a paddock. What the hell? Wait, are we drifting the bank? No, no. Okay. Thank God. Look at how steep it is. 
Dude, that's a bank. It looks like a wall. Cricket, this looks crazy right now. <laughs> so we're drifting the infield, right? Yeah. This like big figure eight thing. You can actually see the line on it. That's the enter entry right there. Mm, yeah. That's gonna be fast. Yeah. It is. Luckily, it's not. It has a little bit of a grade to it. Look, I'm a big filmer guy. Big YouTube filmer guy now. Look at me. Hey! Jimmy's first competition. I'm very excited for him. Wishing him the best of luck. If he needs any help, obviously, he has your boys. And our boy Gato brought a lift in his trailer. So, this cute little thing. She's going to be a ripper this weekend. And since all of Jimmy's boys stayed behind, I'm just gonna steal his camera and do his work for him, you know? I'm just gonna walk around and talk to people. Sound like I know everyone. We're gonna add a little bit more to this. You see this little guy right here, this little sexy patch? Yeah, totally stole your camera. Hell yeah. Was like, uh, I was doing my rounds, figuring out that there's uh, Travis Reader, he brought his pro car, which he literally won New Jersey rounds of FP. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of pro um, guys here, guys. A lot of pro, I know, but I wasn't expecting them to bring their pro car. You know what they're not gonna win? The Link ECU 50K shootout, because we are. A private day. So the private day is on like a little parking lot track, and uh, we're gonna use it to try to make sure the car just feels right at home, and then uh, probably not drive too much so we can save some tire and make sure I don't break my damn car. Great car. Oh man. It is really, really hot out, so I'm a little concerned about keeping my uh, my engine cool just because. My cooling system just isn't efficient on this car. Like I always say, this car is more of a street car that's like being pushed into being a competitive car. So uh, either I rewrite this whole chassis or I make a new one for next season. But for now, we're gonna use this because what we got, we're gonna have some fun stuff. So. And here he is, Justin Medina, the guy who bullied me into being here. That's it's, right. It's all your fault. I had to get you out here for the link bash, man. Is there, what is this? Uh, so this is like the fall, small fun day track. This actually used to be an airstrip. Um, actual airport and now it's a drag strip right here and drift track down here it looks like a really cool small layout but it's extremely bumpy because it's old pavement so uh, let's see first time drifting the car with a whole new setup and uh, this is our testing day so let's make use of it No front crit for a second, that was weird. feels good the power feels good and I'm really scared to miss a gear shifting mid drift because if I miss a gear I'm either gonna get ran over by the car behind me or I'm gonna get lost by the car in front of me which are both real shit situations so we'll figure it out in the meantime let's get this thing cooled down <laughs> Um, but it definitely 
the grip is definitely different. Like the way it kind of transitions, I could throw it a little, I have to throw it a little bit harder or else it kind of understeers, which I'm just really not used to. And I've, and I've always played, played a little too much defense on transitioning in this car because like the whole life of this car, it's always been so unstable in transitions where I've always had to kind of like e-brake on transitions and like stable the car out. So it's a bad habit, I just need to brake. And honestly, I really just want to build a full competitive chassis where I can like have a new mindset, have a new feel and like start from scratch. And so I'm not kind of band-aiding street car shit. That makes sense. But for now, I don't know. I'm happy to be out here. This is cool. This poor engine. I'm so sorry, 1J. What happened to you? Oh, I hear it. I hear it. Yep. Oh, man, I overheated this thing really bad. Man, I've never overheated it like that before. Oh, this poor thing. Oh, this poor thing. I should have paid better attention. I was just so excited someone let me chase him. <laughs> It's hard. If I want to leave this car as a competition chassis, I'd really have to rewrite a lot of all of this because it didn't start off with the plans of being a competition chassis. But um, I kind of want to get through this season, try to keep it in the majority of one piece, refresh the whole thing and just enjoy it next year as like, well, this isn't the chassis for I want to build like a whole new chassis. And if you guys listen to my podcast, you would say that we do have something in the works for that. But for now, let's jump this E-Fang, get this thing bled again, get it back out there and uh, we'll try and get through it, so. There's a fire. I don't hear. I don't think it's actually on fire. You want to hold the hood for me? Yeah. I saw a sun catch on fire, but 
Is that oil? Uh, my oil feed's leaking. Is it? Oh. Yeah, just let it, yeah. let it smoke well, off. Oh, as it drips. As it drips. It's, yeah. Because I don't want fire extinguisher stuff no, all over. No, I'm with you, dude. No. Wow, that, uh, those lines have been on there for a long time. Finally feels like the way I've always thought it should. That makes sense. I don't know. It, I can't, I, <laughs> I feel like I'm just rambling, but it feels so fucking cool. <laughs> but uh, let me fix that line and let's get a couple more laps in. Um, because I need to figure out how to drift like that because I'm going to need to tomorrow. All right, so the oil feed line was loose. Easy fix, all right? Interesting how that happened, whatever. So uh, the car feels completely different. So I got to get used to this. So we'll get a couple laps, feel it out, see how hard I can huck this thing, see how fast I can go in the corner. For it was the struggle to keep it on track. Now the goal is to see how fast I can go because I'm gonna be up against some very, very fast cars. Okay, that's my limit. I gotta figure out where the limit is because I'm gonna wanna keep going this thing harder and harder. That car, <laughs> I felt like I didn't know what I was doing behind that thing. It was just so fast through the transitions. BMW, dude, that car is gonna run me off the road. Holy shit. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even know what I was doing behind that thing. It literally made no sense. So fast through the transitions. It looks like it's about to downpour, so. I'm gonna get another lap in and call it for the day. The car feels like a little funny. I can't, I can't tell if it's just in my head or not, but something feels a little, so whatever. Damn, I was so, I can't tell if like something's messed up or if it's me. Oh, the tranny's fucked. I always want to assume it's just me, but just mmm. Like I'm not gonna lie, like it, it feels slightly like it's. I can't tell if it's getting grip, if it's more gripped up or if it's making slightly less power. Get this thing back to the tent before it starts absolutely downpour. Well, it's been raining for how long has it been? It feels like three hours, but I think it's been like an hour. But look at, uh, look at that tent titty, dude. Look at that thing. Oh, this thing's about to give out. All right, it's it's like 40% chance it's gonna rain in the morning tomorrow for most of the morning into the afternoon. Let's hope not because we're gonna have dudes like this whose cars don't even notice rain. 
This car sucks in the rain. <laughs> this is the worst car. And uh, it, it'll be interesting, especially with all these damn walls. But I'm really excited to try the track layout, though, because it looks, it looks fun. I haven't seen it yet. It's uh, raining. I don't want to go over there yet. I saw it and still don't really know what's walls. happening. There's, there's, walls. there's walls. A lot of walls. But uh, I'm excited. Today was a good day. Um, car feels great in many aspects. And other aspects, it still feels kind of weird and it needs a going through. But guess what? We're here. We're going to have fun. And... Uh, you know, I didn't come here to go crazy. I came here to have fun, so. Hey, we're going bowling. Yeah. We're going bowling, so. Bowling? Whatever. Yeah, bowling we'll like wake up in the morning, drive, have fun, bowling. don't overthink it. I'm just taking the experience, so for now. Uh, clean up, put our stuff away, go bowling, edit this video. And uh, hopefully tomorrow I don't get run over by a car like this, so. <laughs> you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more content. Yeah, I was supposed to be there. Nap, can oh, you palm really? the camera? Yeah, uh, There's like four hey. rooms. Have a good night, guys.